All right, man. So the last thing I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, something happened in the WWE 2K hemisphere. And we were talking about wrestling, so it ties into something that has always irked me. Mm-hmm. And it's just about video games in general. So do you remember when I was telling you about when the build-up to WrestleMania happened, The Rock got involved, and the wrestling community spazzed out in the We Want Cody thing, and they had to change it? Yeah. So something like that happened recently, but for the video game. Okay. And it's something I've heard about in a lot of games, and I just it really pisses me off. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, so there's something in the WWE video games. It's called Community Creations. Oh, yeah. You can like make a wrestler. Yeah, you can make a wrestler, a belt, an arena, a sign. You can make anything. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just wrestlers. No, and then cool. you post it on, and everyone can see it, and if they like it, they can download it. Okay. And now it's on their game. Mm-hmm. So there's somebody on there. His name's What's the Status? Okay. And he's the top guy. I'm talking millions of downloads for everything he gets because he's so good. Yeah. Now in that he goes, he goes into like the in-game files mm-hmm. and he'll find stuff that's hidden or it was in previous games, but it's not in the like, it's in previous games and it's still in the game, but you can't find it. Gotcha. So like, let's say uh, a wrestler leaves WWE. All of their taunts and their maybe their entrance motion is mm-hmm. still in the game. So he'll make the wrestler. Okay. And then he'll give them all those hidden files. That way you still have that feel that he's in the game. Yeah. Um, he'll do stuff like that. He'll make arenas. And when he, when he makes the arenas, he'll, uh, he'll put things where they're not allowed to go, but he'll find workarounds. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, he keeps the game fresh. Like, for example, The Rock... In the game, The Rock has that new tattoo. It's like a big bull instead yeah. of that old school little one he has. Yeah. That's not in the new game. Oh, gotcha. So he found a way to put in the game when you customize actual superstars. Like, say, if I wanted to c- customize Roman Reigns, yeah. I can't put tattoos on them. They uh-huh. don't, the game doesn't let you edit the actual character. Gotcha. Only the clothes. Okay, okay. So he found a workaround where he could put the new tattoo on him. Which it just it keeps the game fresh, yeah. And with wrestling, with how much things change, like this guy could be a good guy Monday, mm-hmm. and then next Monday he might turn heel and have a whole new look, yeah. So it just keeps the game fresh, yeah. And with a game that only has a yearly release, with wrestling, with how much thing, with how much things change, yeah, it gets old. I agree. So he does do like little stuff like that, and it's things he sh- shouldn't be, but it's not hurting anybody. Yeah. If anything. As a game developer, I would hope to have a community passionate enough to want to keep the game updated and honest. Yeah. And uh, in on community creations, there's a lot of bad things. Okay. There's a lot of pornography. Oh. There's a lot of uh, very weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Roman Reigns had a shirt that uh, said, wreck everybody and leave. Mm. And somebody made a new logo that said the R word, everybody oh. and leave. Oh. And stuff like that just lives on community creations. Yeah. Uh, But what's the status got banned? Oh. Yeah. He got banned without any reasoning, without any warnings. That sucks. All of his stuff got taken down, and he got banned. Wow. So then Twitter, uh, for three days, he was trending on Twitter, and it Mm -hmm. was free status. Okay. And everyone was pissed. Um, and the main reason I wanted to bring it up is because I'm just so sick of video game companies yeah. when there's like modders who make the game fun yeah, and they get punished. I know. Like, I just wish it was more of a thing with video games where it's like, dude, like if you have a great game, yeah. but somebody's making it better for free, mm-hmm. they're making the game better for free. You're not even paying them. Yeah. Why are you stopping it? Because there's like... Like, you know, when I think about that, I think of Rockstar, and Rockstar is, like, almost famous for shitting on modders. Mm-hmm. Like, they sending cease and desists and things like that. And it's, like, it's to a point where in those games, like, Skyrim is a great example of some people get Skyrim just for the mods. Right. So it's, like, as a company, you're making more money because people are modding your product. Like, oh, I'll get Skyrim if I can fucking turn dragons into Thomas the <laughs> Tank Engine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's an interesting thing. So, right. like, uh, oh, yeah, I'll get the new wrestle- the wrestling video game because, yeah, maybe they've updated this or they did that or whatever. But, 
I know that on the community, I can get all of this extra stuff, and that's why I think the game is worth it to get. Yeah. And now you just fucked that. And the biggest thing with community creations that I'll say mm-hmm. that is great is you can buy a WWE game, mm-hmm. and on community creations, you can download everybody that are in different wrestling promotions. Yeah. And now they're in your WWE game. Cool. So, like, for example, me and my buddies, we do this thing called Universe. Universe is basically where you can just start your own wrestling organization. You can cool. use the WWE stuff, or you can make up your own, mm-hmm. or you can download AEW, New Japan. E- you can bring back ECW. Mm-hmm. You can do anything you want. You can download anybody to make your own organization. They, they could be dead, alive, working elsewhere, or in yeah. WWE. Cool. And what's the status was the best guy to make all this. Yeah. And they just, you're gone. No warning, no email, nothing. Dude, that's super And like you said, with Rockstar, I noticed there was some stuff with that. Like, dude, I can't even remember the last time I saw a regular GTA clip that wasn't racing. Yeah. But like a regular GTA clip. But when I see all the modded GTA clips, that's most of their content nowadays. I agree. And I did see that Rockstar hired finally hired modders yeah good uh for like the like all the mods that it had came out where people are like cops and yeah like i think they actually hired the mod modders for that that's cool man oh uh, for the new one that's good but yeah it was mainly just like video game companies need to just stop with it bro because like know. you said how many people are gonna buy wwe and play it Dude. because of that and like it, there's that and then like uh, the other thing i said where it's like if you create anything, specifically a video game, but you create anything, you would hope that there's a community of people that give a fuck enough about it to be like, I want to add on to this. Right. And they make good work, especially. Um, that's just awesome. So it's like weird to be like, nah. nah. <laughs> and it's also like it's helping you guys. That's, you yeah. guys you guys are spending no money. This mm-hmm. guy's working for free. Yep. And putting stuff up that are keeping the game alive. Yeah, exactly. Which and, is why they, I'm sure they open the community shit anyway. Right. And on top of it, it's like, I hate to say it, but when you think about a WWE game, mm-hmm. it's not going to last long without it. Yeah, I agree. I, fin- you, I finished the career mode in one week. Yep. Because it, it, you don't get to keep going anymore. It's right. not something where you can just keep going. Mm-hmm. After the story's over, you're done. You, yeah. You, you, can, you can replay it, right. but it's going to be ultimately the same. Yep. So you can't do that. Their new GM mode is cool, but it, you're not getting any length out of it. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, like it's one of those games where if it's not for community creations, it would be one of those games that you have on your PlayStation for when friends come over. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Their online servers suck, mm-hmm. so you can't really play online. So it's just... And I, I mainly wanted to talk about it just because there's so many games like that. Yeah. Like you said, Skyrim, this, that. Like I Red Dead, mm-hmm. GTA, uh, Call of Duty. I remember people used to mod Call of Duty to yeah. do stuff. It's just like, just leave it alone, man. Yeah, I know. If it's not hurting the game yes. and it's not hurting online yes, and it's not hurting just the flow, mm-hmm. just let it go. Yeah, I know. Because a lot of the times what it is, it's, it's, it's usually money motivated right. like – you know, maybe maybe they banned that guy because they're like, we wanted to put this stuff behind a paywall. Like, you should have to pay twenty dollars. And that's what people shit. were saying is that he's making arenas that maybe they wanted to put in a DLC, mm-hmm. or he's making superstars that look great and play great, but they wanted to add that as DLC. Yeah, but it's just like, so what? I know. Because ultimately, I hate to say it, what's the status could make a great looking CM Punk. Yeah, but when the real one comes out, I'm going to get it because what I don't have is a theme song. Yeah, the feel, the commentary. Yeah, yeah. There's still a lot you don't have. Exactly. Yeah. And not only that, but when every year when you announce the game, ninety percent of people are buying the a hundred dollar edition anyways because you have all the extra shit. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and it was like for a while, Rockstar was pretty cool with like modding or this, that, or whatever, but. Then um, people, like, for years, there was, like, Vice City remasters and San Andreas remasters that were up and, like, free. Um, they were working on the new update. Yeah, and then they started sending out cease and desist because they were like, well, we're, we're making our own. And that's, like, the funny thing where I'm like, well, people would have bought, 
like the remaster anyway. Right. And then it came out and, and it, it was, was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I see why they had to cease and desist because they just half-assed a product yeah. out. And they were like, you want to buy it? <laughs> and the, ma- the, the modders were better. Yeah. So that's why it, I, it brings me back to this. Just pay the fucking modders. Yep, yep. Give them a job. Mm-hmm. If they're doing it better than you, pay them. And like they're clearly passionate Oh, about it because they're like doing they're doing it for free yeah they're doing it for free <laughs> pay them so you could probably pay them for not that much yep. and they would be happy to do it 100% so, so it's like like that that was my biggest thing like why don't you instead of banning status mm-hmm. why don't you pay him and then you can have him work for you and keep the you can have him keep the the flow of what's going on in the WWE yeah he can release that stuff mm-hmm. and f- being dead ass honest you pay him have him keep doing what he's doing, and even if you put it behind a paywall, where yeah. it's like five, ten bucks a month, and you get all of this new stuff, it's still keeping the game fresh. I agree. Just fucking, like, don't ban him. And then also take down everything he's done mm-hmm. is crazy, especially when there's all that stuff, when there's, like, all that stuff about, uh, like, he's breaking TOS, but then there's, like, all of this pornographic stuff. And yeah. There's people modding wwe women to be naked and yeah that yeah. stuff's laying on there yeah and they're not banned exactly get it out of here but I that agree. was it i just want to go on my tangent just no, pay the modders it. pay them give them a job they're doing better than you and they're keeping your game fresh 100 percent. like you said a lot of people buy games just for the mods 100 percent. for example madden nope they've been modding madding modding madden for years to do college teams. Yeah. You'll see all the college uniforms, all the college stuff. Pretty cool. And now it took this long for college football to come back. I think it's coming out in like a month or two. Crazy. So. Yeah. Get your shit together. <laughs> and uh, video game companies, like I said, get your shit together. And then viewers, get out of here. <laughs> Guess Fuckers. that's it for episode 23. <laughs> I'll Thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs> my shorts match my breeze. I just got them last week. So if you see me in the street, just know these shorts match my briefs. I just got these on sale. I ain't paying retail. And know the style ain't stale. I didn't get these in the mail. My shorts match my briefs. <laughs> <laughs>